Hi and welcome to Alpha Militaria TV once again. Thanks for tuning in. Now uh, I'm talking to you from our high-tech multimedia recording studio um, which also happens to be my garage. Now the reason I'm doing that is it's absolutely pouring down with rain outside, blowing a gale. It's not very nice at all. Um, so I've come indoors. Now at some point I will man up and I'll get out on the range and put a few pellets through the gun to show you how it shoots. Um, but for now, we're indoors. Um, now then, we thought that we would, uh, having reviewed a whole bunch of PCP rifles over the last few weeks and months, we thought it was time that we turned our attention to looking at some spring-powered rifles. Because during this whole lockdown misery, some people are going to be struggling to get out and get their PCP air supply filled up. Um, people are also struggling to be able to buy the manual stereotype pumps because everywhere seems to be sold out. So we thought, you know, we'll look at some spring-powered rifles. Now, for those of you not familiar, perhaps with, uh, with different types of rifles, uh, PCP rifles have an onboard compressed air reservoir, a bottle or a cylinder, which propels the pellets. Whereas spring-powered rifles, um, as the name suggests, uh, rely on a, a spring to provide the, uh, the power. Now what happens is when you cock the action, a spring, a main spring, which is up here, uh, gets compressed. Then when you pull the trigger, that spring is released. It flies forward, uh, forces um, uh, a piston forward, which forces air in front of it in a chamber, down the chamber until it hits the pellet, and then the pellet goes down the barrel. Now there's three different types of spring-powered rifles, or springers as most people call them. There is the, uh, the brake barrel rifle that most people are familiar with, where you, you, know, you break the action by uh, uh, pulling the barrel down. There are under levers, of which this is one of, um, where there is a, a lever underneath the gun for cocking the action, and then some guns also have a side lever as well. Um, now, under levers and side levers have a, an inherent advantage in as much as the barrel and the action are one and the same. There's no, um, there's no break like there is on a brake barrel. There's no two halves like there is on a brake barrel. So unlike a brake barrel where you have to rely on the, um, the, the, the lock-up mechanism to make sure that the barrel is nice and still and perfectly aligned with the action when it's returned, um, you know, there's none of those problems with, a, with an under lever or side lever. Right, so we should talk about this particular gun. Now this is the Air Arms Pro Sport. Um, as I say, it's an underlever rifle, and I'm going to say it's probably the best underlever rifle that's out there, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people are going to say, "Hey, what about the Vyrak HW97 and the 77?" And and with good reason, because they are superb rifles as well. But in my mind, I think this one just about um, has the edge. Um, and there's also uh, a very good Lothar, uh, uh, Wolfer um, rifle, the LGU I think it is, which is a, su a superb underlever rifle as well. But this one I think um, tops it for me anyway. Um, now it's not cheap, um, there are two versions, the Beach version costs 630 odd pounds and the Walnut version, which this is, um, is around about 700 pounds. So um, it's about as, as high as a springer goes, pretty much, and um, I have to say it is money well spent, to be perfectly honest, especially when you consider that you're kind of getting into mid-level PCP at that money, but it really is worth the money. Um, now, the rifle overall is 1,050 millimeters long. It weighs nine pounds, which is fairly hefty, but not unusually so for a, for a spring-powered rifle. And to be honest, you need a little bit of, of weight to absorb uh, the recoil, you get a very slight recoil of the spring powered rifle compared to a PCP, um, which for some people is part of the attraction. But thanks to the use of synthetic bearings in this and the overall quality of the engineering tolerances anyway, there's very little recoil on, on the Pro Sport. Um, and the action is more of a kind of a gentle thud than a twang or a, or a boing um, that you get with some spring powered rifles. So starting at the back, and I'll show you all of this in, in more detail closer up, you have this uh, recoil pad. Um, it's very comfortable, it's ventilated, um, it doesn't have an awful lot of recoil to have to absorb, but it's a, it's a, nice, um, it's a nice feature anyway. 
Uh, the, the, the comb here is, is quite highly raised, uh, gives you really good um, alignment uh, to a scope which is mounted on um, a pair of a set of uh, dovetail grooves. And if I turn the rifle round, you can see that um, this rifle um, uh, has a, a cheek piece out here. As I said before, this is only available uh, for right-handers. There is no left-hand uh, version or left-hand option for this rifle. There is for the Air Arms TX200, but not for the Pro Sport. And before you ask in the comments, um, unfortunately, you cannot swap the action and the stock uh, between the TX200 and the Pro Sport, they just won't fit. So, right handers only. Moving forward of that, you have the pistol grip, uh, very comfortable. You can shoot that with your thumb wrapped around, your thumb up. Um, there's a very ornate, um, but very um, good quality, high quality uh, checkering here on the pistol grip and also on the fore end. And the pistol grip has a, uh, looks like a rosewood. Um, cap on the bottom with a, a lighter brown spacer which is very nice. At the back of the action at the top, at the top here is a safety catch. Now the safety catch comes on automatically when you cock the rifle um, and um, there's also a secondary um, safety feature on this which is uh, it's called a, an anti-bear trap. It means that when you cock the action and you have the side lever uh, down if you, um, if you pull the trigger, then it's not going to come flying up and trap fingers and, and uh, cause injury. Uh, and um, even if you press the safety catch in and still pull the trigger, the side lever will only, uh, the under lever will only move, move forward about a quarter of an inch before that bear trap uh, mechanism kicks in and prevents the barrel flying up again. Um, so the rifle will only fire, the, the trigger will only operate um, when the uh, the under lever is returned and the safety catch is off. Now um, up here you have the uh, the loading breech. Now what happens is when you pull the when you pull the under lever back, this silver uh, piece here retracts back into the the rest of the action and reveals a hole, a port, uh, and that exposes the the breech into which you can insert your pellet. Um, to, uh, to take a shot. Then obviously when you return the under lever this silver sleeve uh, comes forward again. And then finally uh, the barrel is a Lothar Walther barrel uh, just under 15 inches long and it contains uh, an integrated internal moderator inside it uh, which makes it uh, actually very very quiet uh, to shoot. So those are the key features. Uh, as I said, let's uh, show you those up uh, in a little bit more close up. Right, so let's talk a little bit about how you cop the, uh, the Pro Sport. Now the side lever, the under lever is recessed underneath the action here, underneath the fore end. You can see it there. So that means that from the profile it's completely invisible and gives the rifle that lovely traditional sporter look. Um, and for all intents and purposes it looks like a, a centre fire or rim fire rifle apart from the fact it doesn't have a bolt. Now there's no catch to release for the, side, uh, for the under lever. It literally pulls out um, on its own. Um, requires a little bit of effort to cock it, um, but not ex excessively so. Uh, and because of the, the use of synthetic bearings in the action, the cocking process is really, really smooth. Um, no graunchiness, no kind of stop and start, it's just one fluid action. Now, cocking the rifle, as I said before, pops out this uh, the safety catch here. It comes on automatically when you cock. And if you pull the pull the trigger, nothing happens. Um, the side lever, uh, the under lever, stays where it is. And even if you push the the safety catch in, pull the trigger, it only moves a fraction of an inch before it locks up again. So there's no chance of your fingers getting trapped underneath the uh, the action there.
So that's the Air Arms Pro Sport. As soon as the weather breaks, uh, we'll get out on the range and uh, see how it shoots. Well, thankfully the weather has improved now and I'm able to get out with the Air Arms Pro Sport and put a few pellets to it. Now normally, uh, as you may have seen from other reviews, I go down to Reading Air Target Shooting Club and use their range down there. Uh, but because of the lockdown, it's closed at the moment. So I've come down to one of my permissions um, to, uh, to have a bit of a shoot. Now, uh, I'm standing up, obviously, uh, at the back of my truck, resting on a bean bag. Now, the, um, the target is set at uh, around about 30 yards. This is a brand new rifle, uh, and the pellets are straight out of the tin. Um, so we'll see how we get on. The one thing I always say to people when they're using spring rifles is regardless of the um, safety measures, the anti-bear trap and what have you, it's always worth holding onto the, um, onto the under lever or the barrel just in case they fail. It's got a lovely thuddy action, this rifle. It really has. Let's go and see how we got on. Well, that's not the best group in the world. Um, that's with the, uh, the Pro Sport. Um, it is a little bit windy down here. Um, 
and I'm, uh, I'm sure that those, uh, that group is down to me and not to the rifle um, because it is an extremely accurate rifle. But that's 10 shots with a Pro Sport, probably centre to centre, just over an inch, and that's standing rested. Well, that's the Air Arms Pro Sport. Uh, really is a fantastic rifle. Don't think I really did it justice on the range here. Uh, but if you found the review uh, helpful and, uh, and useful, please give us a like. And if you'd like to hear more from us, you can uh, hit the subscribe button as well. And if you'd like more information on the Air Arms range, then take a look at our website, www.alphamilitaria.com, where you'll find a full rundown of the range and a whole host of other air gunning information. Thanks for watching.